Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is an article from the Smithsonian, and they're talking about the mysterious Martian cauliflower may be the latest hint of alien life. Unusual silica formations spotted by NASA rover look like a lot of structures formed by microbes on geysers on Earth. Well, uh, this is from Spirit Rover, by the way. It's one of the earliest photos. It was taken near what they call Home Plate, which is where it landed. But let's look at this uh, line. The hunt for signs of life on Mars has been on for decades, and so far the scientists found only barren dirt and rocks. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Or this person is uh, completely out of the loop. I don't know which. Now a pair of astronomers think strangely shaped minerals inside a Martian crater could be the clue to light everyone's been waiting for. See, they're playing, the, they're playing this little psychological game. They uh, try to gem up attention to Mars again but they're not willing to tell us the truth for whatever reason. No one knows for sure how those shapes, affectionately called micro digitate silica protrusions, are formed. Good lord. Based on recent discoveries on, in the Chilean desert, Stephen Ruff and Jack Farmer, both of Aristotle State, University in Tempe, you think the silica may have been sculpted by microbes. That's BS. That is bullshit. At a meeting of the American Geophysical Union in December, they made the case that these weird minerals might be our best targets for identifying evidence of past life on Mars. Uh, I am going to show a photo because there's some interesting things in it. Logical uh, silica cauliflower could go down in history is arguably the biggest discovery ever in astronomy. But bio biology is hard to prove, especially from millions of miles away, and Ruff and Farmer aren't claiming victory yet. All they're saying is these enigmatic growths are mineral greens from ancient aliens and someone should investigate. Well, it's very simple. They're lying. Because I don't know anything about these silicone growths. But I've been showing, and others have been showing, evidence after evidence of artifacts, structures, plants. They completely ignore it. And yet they go off on a photo like this. You know, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Why can't they just tell us the truth? I already know at least all the truth that uh, there's life on that planet. To understand home play, it makes sense that Ruff turned to El Tadio region, Atacama, which is home to more than 80 geysers, while most other earthly animals wouldn't last long. There are many microbes do just fine. Fossil evidence suggests they also thrive in the distant past. By inference, Mars' home plate might have once made a nice microbial home. And it goes on and on. These people are just lying, lying, lying. I emailed the author of this uh, article. These people usually don't get back to you. I said either you're a liar. Her name is Sarah Coles. Schools. I said either you are a liar 
or if you believe your own stuff, you better uh, start studying the photos. So let's go ahead and take a look at the photo itself. I'm not going to do too much for the article, so I don't like being lied to. Mm. First of all, there's some uh, objects here that mysteriously look like they're rectangular and might not be natural. That's one thing. Other thing is, I'm pretty certain, looking at this, that we're seeing vegetation. You know, the clue is you see things over and over again repeated that look the same, have the same basic shape. And that's usually a pretty good clue that they're being grown rather than just coming to uh, fruition by a non-biological process. I would say there's a pretty good chance at least some of what we're seeing are plants. But, you know, I've shown, well, let's take a look right down here. This is what I mean. It looks like, you know, the fronds of a uh, compound leaf. This thing right here. More than likely it is. I think we're seeing some plants here. They call it silica. I don't think so. The point is, these people lie and lie and lie, and they get away with it because the press won't call them on it. So it's left up to people like yourself and other fine researchers on YouTube and whatnot. I don't have as much time for it as I used to, which is a pity. But it's up to us to try to show the public that they're being lied to, that this plant is alive, these things are real, and their government is basically yanking their chain. Mm. Sorry about that. I'm, uh, late and I'm tired. But that's about it. I don't know what spirit soul this is, but it's one of the earliest ones, obviously. I think we're looking at plants here. Of course, it's black, in black and white, so I can't be absolutely certain, but... The shape would seem to suggest that we're seeing compound leaves. In my gray box, but I do think we're seeing some plants here. And maybe some other things. And maybe the silica stuff that they're talking about. There's life on the planet, folks. There's no question. You are being lied to. You're having your chain jerked. In fact, right in here, let's take a look at this before I go. See how this is all fuzzy? That's not sand. Right here, it's not sand, folks. It's plant life. I'm very sorry that's the way it is. And you got some of it right on top of this other object. You can see it growing on there. This is called life people. There's no way of sans or butts about it. And, and, but NASA keeps playing this little game with us. Anyway, that's about it for now. Just remember, this is a game that NASA plays every so often. They ignore the real evidence. 
evidence of plants, evidence of moss here, evidence of artifacts. They ignore it. They a jerk on the chains. That's the bottom line to this. As a matter of fact, Mars, thanks for watching. Remember, you're not being told the truth, except for here. <laughs> and the rest of the fine researchers on YouTube. Bye now.